Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're working in Figma and ever felt your design workspace looked a little too busy with all those layout grids, this tutorial is for you. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to turn off, hide, or remove those grids from your frames in Figma. Plus, I'll show you how to bring them back if you need them later. Let's dive right in and get your canvas looking just the way you want it. First off, let's take a look at our Figma file. Right here, I've got a frame that currently has a grid applied to it. If yours looks a bit like graph paper, that's the layout grid in action. It's super handy for aligning elements, but sometimes you want a cleaner look while you work. To manage your grids, the first step is to make sure you've selected the frame you want to edit. Go ahead and click directly on the frame in your layout. Don't worry if there are a lot of layers or elements on your page, just double check you're selecting the frame itself, not a shape or photo inside it. You'll know you're in the right spot if the design panel on the right lights up with your frame's properties. Once you've got your frame selected, look over to the Design tab on the right sidebar. This panel is where all your frame's styling options show up. Now keep your eye out for a section labeled Layout Grid. This is where you control all your grid settings. If you don't see it, make sure you're not clicking on a group or an individual object. This only shows up for frames. Now let's talk about hiding that grid. You'll notice there's a small eye icon next to the grid in the Layout Grid section. This is just like the visibility toggle you'll find in other design tools. If you click the eye icon, the grid instantly vanishes from your frame. It's still there in the background, you're not deleting anything, you're just giving yourself a clutter-free space to focus on your design. You might use this if you want to see exactly how things look without the distraction of lines everywhere. You can always click that little eye icon again to bring the grid right back, so no worries if you change your mind. But what if you want to remove the grid completely so it's not even quietly hanging out in the background? There's an easy way to do that too, Right next to your grid, there's a minus button. Just click that and the entire grid setup disappears from your frame. Figma won't prompt you for confirmation, so if you accidentally delete a grid, don't panic. You can always add it back. And speaking of adding it back, maybe you want a fresh grid or you change your layout and need a new guide. Right there in that layout grid section, there's a plus button. Click that and Figma will pop a new default grid onto your frame. You can tweak it to your liking, whether you want columns, rows, or even a different color to match your project needs. And honestly, that's all there is to it. Once you get comfortable with toggling and managing layout grids, you'll find it so much easier to control your space and work the way you want. Don't worry if it feels confusing at first. Figma's interface is super intuitive once you play around a little. If this video helped you out, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Drop any questions or tips you have in the comments below. I love seeing how you all use Figma in your projects. And if you want more straightforward tutorials just like this, make sure you hit subscribe so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and happy designing.